First tonight, West Michigan is dealing with some extreme heat. Right now, an excessive heat advisory is in effect, and it will run through Friday evening. Now cities across West Michigan are opening cooling centers to beat the near-record temperatures. We do have team coverage for you tonight. News 8's Amanda Porter is more about how to prepare for the heat. But first, we want to check in with Chief Meteorologist Ellen Baca outside tonight with the current conditions. Ellen. Got to tell you, if you're outside, find the shade. I'm sure that's what you would want to do anyways. But remember that shady areas are a good 10 to 15 degrees cooler than if you're standing in direct sunshine. What's more, if you're standing in direct sunshine and you're wearing darker clothing, that can add to the heat. So it's really critical during this heat advisory, back to back, day after day, that you're taking all of these tips and you're really folding them into your daily life. Let's talk about the heat advisory. Every single county in West Michigan is included in this. Temperatures climbing into the 90s and because of the humidity with dew points in the 60s and even low 70s, that will give us heat indices close to 100 degrees every afternoon for several hours. If we look at some of the heat indices today, they have been uncomfortable, even hitting 100 at times for places like Benton Harbor. Our actual temperatures were in the 90s and we did set a few new record highs. Holland, Muskegon, all the way down uh, through Lansing and Kalamazoo and Battle Creek, all hot, but Holland and Muskegon grabbing the new title for warmest ju uh, June 17th on record. Let's talk about the heat indices as we move forward. Of course, the daytime highs are going to be hot in the upper 90s, if not 100 degrees, but it's also the overnight lows in the 70s. They will not offer much relief. Coming up, we're be talking more about the shower and storm chance each day because that's also a factor we're going to have to watch. All right, Ellen, thank you. And with the heat expected to stick around for most of the week, West Michigan organizations are warning people to be prepared. News 8's Amanda Porter has tips on spotting heat exhaustion and stroke and where people can find some relief from the heat. Amanda? Limiting your time out here in the 90 degree weather is a good way to avoid dehydration, heat exhaustion, or even a heat stroke. So we do get really concerned that the heat is already at this level in June. Code red has been issued at Degage Ministries in Grand Rapids this week because it's so hot. 90 degree temperatures are expected through Friday. People need to watch for signs of heat exhaustion and heat stroke. There are three stages. You have heat cramps, and that's that initial onset where you just don't feel good. Your body's becoming dehydrated. You're having that exposure to heat. Real quick, drinking water, relaxing, getting into air conditioning or cool area is the best way to treat that. As you move into heat exhaustion, you're now starting to see things where people may seem a little bit off. Confusion, nausea, and excessive sweating are also signs of heat exhaustion. Bring them into the cool area cool them down, take off their restrictive clothing, loose up their clothing and give them plenty of water. Stage three can reach a heat stroke and needs an emergency response. That truly is a 911 type of response. These people oftentimes are very dry, very red and very warm or hot to the touch. It is very important that you call 911 right away because we want to make sure we get those people the right care. Check in on loved ones, neighbors, and the unhoused. Starting at noon today and then all the way through the heat wave ending Friday, at least we hope it'll be maybe even sooner than Friday. Um, we're going to make sure that our cooling center is open to anybody in the community who want to come in and find a cool place to shelter, want to drink some water. We want to make sure everybody's staying hydrated. Being outside in extreme heat can be dangerous for people, especially children and pets. Please do not leave your child unattended in a running vehicle or un not running vehicle for any time. When you get out of the vehicle, please take your children out of the vehicle. It only takes seconds for your car's interior to rise to deadly temperatures. That's why it's very important to check your back seats before you lock your car. Staying cool can look like visiting your local library, beach, or mall during peak daylight hours. For more information on heat-related illnesses, cooling centers, or shelters, head to woodtv.com. Live in Grand Rapids, Amanda Porter, News 8. And as we hit near record temperatures today, thousands of people in Kalamazoo County remain without electricity. Right now, Consumers Energy reporting 5,000 customers are without power. 
Some 1,000 more are in Van Buren County. If you're in the Kalamazoo or Portage area, several cooling centers will be open this week. This includes the Kalamazoo Central Library and the Portage Senior Center. If you don't live in those areas and are trying to beat the heat, we do have a list of cooling centers online at woodtv.com. Due to the heat, a Juneteenth 5K scheduled today in Kalamazoo has been canceled. The event was supposed to be getting underway right now, but organizers have pushed the event back to July 1st. The new packet pickup is planned for 5 p.m. that day, and the race will begin at 6:10. As warm temperatures continue this week, make sure to download the Storm Teammate weather app. It's free on the Apple and Google Play stores.